autographs and more straight to your door what's inside the BAM subscription box. Every single month, BAM delivers to you a selection of autographs, a selection of replicas, a selection of art prints. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the BAM box, you can click the link down below and head on over to their website at www.thebambox.com. When we last look at this humble reviewer looking at the BAM box, I had just recently addressed what ended up being the BAM Horror Box. And of course, through the process of elimination, I would imagine then tells us that this one happens to be the pop culture box, but they could certainly throw me off even still, and it could be something else completely different. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and find out what exactly is inside. I'm going to use my trusty knife, Chet Cuttington III, and we're going to slice through the, what I thought was pretty strong tape, but not strong enough for Chet. We're going to slice through that like a hot knife through butter. I'm going to put that right down to the side for the si for the time being. And inside, we are treated immediately first to the BAM uh, print, the ba BAM uh, like little paper that they put inside. Obviously, it's a telltale sign to know what exactly what box this is anyways. The fact that it's got BAM written across everything. We're going to put that to the side. I'm sure nobody needs that right now. No? Nobody? First thing we're going to have a look at is the BAM Pop Culture Pin. Uh, this one is of Deadpool. A nice looking Deadpool. Strange to actually kind of see nose and mouth. That's not something you tend to see too often with Deadpool. I like that he does have the larger eye, one slightly smaller eye. That, that actually is pretty accurate to the way my face looks. One giant eye, one little tiny, little sliss, slice of an eye. Uh, this is the BAM Pop Culture Box for Volume 5, box number 2 on the back there. It says the fan art pin has been created exclusively for BAM box and is inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There are a limited number of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. www, well, not so much www, that part's been left off, but thebambox.com. Again, if you guys are interested in subscribing, I'm going to put that right to the side. Once again, we've got ourselves a little insert card, a scratch card. And uh, what, what can we use? What can we use? I guess I could use my finger. I mean, it's the best tool we have available, don't we? I see gaming system. I see... Ah, whammy. And we've got another box. So no, nothing won this time around for this humbled reviewer. Shucks. Oh. Oh throws me off for the rest of the day we got I'm, I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay we got ourselves a insert card this is Luke Skywalker the other side from what I remember was Darth Vader on this side right here kind of filling in the blank of our imagination right there and then on the back it says congratulations this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our favorite artists this card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12 collect both cards to make the set down below, it's been autographed, signed by the artist, who is Jack Giger. No relations, I'm sure, to H.R. Giger. I know I used that joke already. It wasn't really so much a joke. Uh, we've got ourselves some Komodo beads. Kim Kim Komodo? Komono beads? I know it's from Black Panther. I know I'm calling them the wrong thing. Uh, of course, they are the communication... Uh, bracelet. I can wear wear one right now. I'm sure I'm not communicating anything right now. Not that I'm aware of, at least. But it's just on elastic, just an elastic uh, cable there, and uh, pretty nice looking. I mean, a fair, pretty accurate, I would say, to the to the movie. I mean, they're a little bit more of a grayish color, I think, in the film. They're not stark black, but they've got a little symbols all across the the bands. Each one of the beads actually have some nice detailing done to it. Kamoyo, Kamoyo, Kamoyo. No, I'm gonna leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna remember. I'm, I'll remember. So we got that kind of like as a replica of something seen from film and television, specifically here in film with Black Panther. Uh, we've also got this, which I'm guessing probably house these inside. That seems like it's the right fit. Uh, we also got inside a couple of autographs. Let's have a look at those right now. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I like this. This is Harley Quinn from uh, Birds of Prey, which I just saw, I want to say about a month or so ago, maybe... Maybe finally got around to seeing it. It was a couple of weeks ago. It was like at least a couple of weeks ago. I said I, I mentioned it on Twitter. Uh, but uh, I liked I liked the film. 
I mean, it, you know, it, it, it was what it was. It wasn't a bad film. It was sort of lighthearted. It had the same flavor of Flav as Dead, Deadpool 2. So I kind of like that. I, I didn't think it was too bad. I, didn't, I think I enjoyed it more than Suicide Squad. That's just me. There's Bruce, her uh, hyena there in the background there. She's carrying a mallet around with her. I like this costume for Harley Quinn. Uh, Hot Toys, I believe, is releasing a six-scale version of Harley Quinn dressed in the said attire. I'll be most definitely looking forward to picking that one up. And then last but certainly not least, I think last but certainly not least, there's one last thing inside. And we've got this guy right here, who he looks familiar, and yet for some reason I'm drawing a blank. It's Maddie Cardapol. Cardapol. Is that C-A-R-D-A-R-A-P-L-E? What is that? Card a rapel? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we are gonna though. I mean, because these ones don't have the insert card, what I will have to do, and you'll have to excuse me as I vacate myself for a second, it says the next couple of months we'll be going to a digital handout until the printing companies we use are back up and running at full speed. Please find yours at thebandbox.com forward slash insert. So why don't I go ahead and do that right now? So at least I know who this Maddie guy is. The face looks familiar, but the name, as jarbled as it might be, is a bit of a mess, and it's drawn a blank. Hold on one second. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on over here. We're going to go ahead and click the BAM pop culture. I just happened to go to BAM insert. It's the bambox.com forward slash insert. I'm just going to click on the BAM culture volume 5, box number 2. I don't know why I said that so broken up the way that I did. Let's see what we got going on inside for the inserts. The celebrity autograph, which is the one I'm most important, most curious about, says we are excited to have Maddie. Carterable, 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 Carterable. <laughs> as our celebrity autograph for box number two, Maddie stars as Keith in Stranger Things. Oh, I know him. Okay, now I know. Now I know who he is. He was in Stranger Things and the hench person of the inter the intermittent gender in a series of unfortunate events. Indeterminate. Oh, I'm gonna have to get glasses. I'm getting a little old there. There you go. Person of indeterminate gender in unfortunate events. There we go. We also got ourselves the fan art pin. Everybody's favorite mark with the mouth is an inspiration for our fan art pins this month. Make sure you look for the pins numbered out of 250 and 50, which happens to be the level ups down below. Uh, so what else we have here? We had the fan art print of Harley Quinn. These were the variations down below. One happened to be Batman. One happened to be uh, Joker. The one I got ended up being... The one with the Suicide Squad skull. It says, we're excited to have our first-time artist, Jake Giger. You may recognize his style with the first select cards. Artist select cards. Look for variant numbers out of 550. From the personal favorite MCU movies, Black Panther comes the replica Kamoyo. 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 It doesn't matter how many times I say that. Bead bracelet. There it is right there. Or the proof is in the pudding. There it is right there. And last but certainly not least, we also had the Artist Select card. Jake Giger completes his set with a second in the pair of Artist Select cards. The theme is Battle. Two cards will make a set of over two months, January and February, and look for a variant foil card numbered out of only 100. One thing that was curious that brought my attention to this was actually, if you look at the top here, uh, Volume 3 was one that we had already looked at before, and it so happened to have these ones right here. Now, this box actually came a little bit later, so it turns out that I did get February's box here, and then these ones, I guess, were, uh, or maybe this was March, and then the next ones were April. So this was actually one box behind, judging by the fact that it says Volume 5, Box 3. The one that we're looking at here is Volume 5, Box 2. So I do believe it's the box one back from that. Still very pretty cool looking props, though. Uh, not so much necessarily this one, because this is the one we had looked at before. But again, clicking on this one right here. Like I said, we did get ourselves an autograph, which I drew, again, a bit of a blank when I looked at him immediately. I now sort of feel bad for it. There he is right there. Oh, not bad. And then on the back... The certificate of this uh, on this item was personally witnessed by Representative of BAM Authentic and is guaranteed to be authentic. The authentication can be verified at BAM Authentic. I know I just said authentic a whole lot of times using the serial number listed down below. 
that way you know it's legit and you can't be legit well you should be legit if not you're too legit to quit that was bad that didn't kind of work as well as i had hoped needless to say backtracking ourselves back to the original uh, thing at hand was of course the BAM box for again a month I'm not quite certain of first now I mean we again just had a look at a whole bunch of BAM boxes the BAM pop culture box and the BAM horror box but now I don't know what to believe anymore because I believe these are the boxes slightly one month back which means I'm going to have to kind of correct things and make things right don't worry leave it with me leave it with me I'm multifaceted I can do things uh, diff different things at different times I can multitask like the best of them if you want to multitask like the best of them, certainly make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. And if you're also in the market of subscribing, getting the Bambox delivered to your house every single month, you can go to www.thebambox.com. You can pick your poison, whether it be the pop culture variety, or you can pick yourself the horror box. Either way, any way you slice it, Every single month, like I said, you'll get yourself some autograph prints, some signatures of actors who, again, now I know who exactly it is. Now I know who exactly it is. And you get yourself some proper replicas. The Kamoyo, Kamoyo, Kamoyo beads that I can maybe wear right now. I'll wear them on the way upstairs as I fetch my beverage. If you guys, like I said, are interested in subscribing and digging this guy's content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification, and keep these peeled. That would be your peepers, just in case you're curious as there's certainly going to be a lot of videos coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.